For many years, humanoid robots were only seen in science fiction films. But on the other hand, the art of robotics and artificial intelligence made the idea of developing human-like robots a reality. Humanoid robots take motion recognition and expression, replicating human behaviors and the ability to perform various tasks to a whole new level. Several robots like Sophia, Erika, Junko Chihira, and Nadine have already been developed. However, Destiny, a newcomer to the market, promises to have the closest relationships with humans and to assist them in their daily tasks. So let's find out more about these robots in this video. Here we begin. Destiny Destiny is a developing age-friendly humanoid robot that will take AI and robotics to new heights. The creators of Destiny promise to deliver next-generation robots capable of interacting with humans on a much deeper level than is currently possible. Its goal is to enable AI to become more general rather than just perform specific tasks. At the same time, Destiny Robotics' mission is to make robots accessible to an increasing number of people. Destiny is a one-of-a-kind blend of artificial intelligence, robotics, engineering, art, and design. Her appearance differs from that of other robots because she has human-like skin, the ability to communicate, and the ability to express emotions. It establishes a standard for human-robot interaction, making communication more organic and natural. Destiny intends to be the first humanoid robot household assistant. Nadine Nadine is one of the world's most realistic female humanoid social robots, and she looks and acts exactly like Prof. Nadia Magnana Talman. This robot has a human-like appearance, including natural skin and hair. Her hands are also very realistic. Nadine is a socially intelligent robot who greets you back, makes eye contact, and remembers all of your pleasant conversations with her. She can respond to questions in multiple languages and express emotions through gestures in her face depending on the nature of the interaction with the user. Nadine can recognize people she has met before and engage in free-flowing conversation. Nadine has a personality which means her mood can change depending on what you say to her. Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of freedom or DOF for facial expressions and upper body movements. She can recognize anyone she has met and recalls facts and events about each person. When no one is around, Nadine is the ideal companion. She can help people with special needs by reading stories, showing images, setting up sky sessions, sending emails, and communicating with the family. She's a part of the new human assistive technology that's desperately needed because society cannot afford a full-time social worker for each person with special needs. Instead, she can act as a personal, private coach who's always available even when no one else is. Junko Chihira Junko Chihira is a Japanese ginoid robot created by Toshiba. It was created with the help of Kisorishi Ishiguro's technology. Junko the robot was unveiled in October 2015. It is also referred to as the trilingual android due to its ability to communicate in Japanese, Chinese, and English. Aside from that, the robot can communicate using sign language. It is an improved version of her younger sibling, Aiko Chihira. Junko, who has the face of a 26-year-old woman, has an upgraded version of machine control. It has excellent interactive abilities, realistic expressions, and pre-written speech commands. The robot is outfitted with various technologies including speech syntheses and natural language processing. It can respond to tourists and locals' random and multiple-choice questions. Shinko Chihira is a tour guide at the local tourist attraction, Aqua City Odaiba in Japan while its two other siblings work as receptionists and health nurses. Kane Chihira has also been upgraded for the robot. Kane Chihira, unlike Junko, can communicate in any language. The Chihira family's smoother movements and intelligence capabilities make them ideal for the tourism and travel industries. Sophia Sophia is the first robotic citizen of the world. Hansen, a Hong Kong-based company, created the humanoid lady robot Sophia. On February 14, 2016, the company unveiled and activated this human robot. In 2017, the robot was granted full Saudi citizenship, making it the first to obtain citizenship in any country. Sophia was designed to resemble the creator's wife, Audrey Hepburn. It possesses all aspects of beauty, including porcelain skin, a slender nose, high cheekbones, an intriguing smile, and beautiful and expressive eyes. Her eyes change color in response to light. Sophia's abilities include following faces, maintaining eye contact, and identifying individuals. It can also walk and communicate. Sophia's most endearing feature is its lifelike skin and ability to mimic more than 60 facial features. Throughout history, Robot has often appeared in public, interacting with the public and interviewing humans. 
It is intended to be a good fit for healthcare, customer service, and education. Sophia is also capable of drawing and painting, including portraits. Sophia is followed by nine robotic siblings created by Hansen. Chia 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 Chia, also known as the Robot Goddess of China, was China's first humanoid robot. Chia Chia, the most beautiful woman in China, was unveiled in 2016 and developed by the University of Science and Technology of China. The robot can converse with and respond to people based on the situation. Shen Xiaoping, the creative team's leader, stated that robots can perform and deliver minimal functions such as assistance in restaurants, hospitals, and households. It has several human-like characteristics. The most striking are eye movements and lip synchronization. Chia Chia incorporates speech generation algorithms as well as facial recognition technologies. As a result, it can detect various gestures, emotions, and characteristics. The robot addressed its creators as its lord with a sense of humor. Erika Erika, who turns out to be 23 years old, is the most advanced humanoid to emerge from a collaboration between Osaka and Kyoto Universities and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International, or ATR. Hiroshi Ishiguro, an Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory professor, is at the group's heart. He's perhaps best known for creating Geminoid HI-1, an android in his likeness, right down to his trademark black leather jacket and a Beatles mop top made from his own air. Erika, on the other hand, appears and sounds far more human-like than Ishiguro's silicone doppelganger or his previous human-like robot, Geminoid F. Despite her inability to walk independently, she has improved speech and the ability to understand and respond to questions, with each utterance accompanied by uncannily human-like changes in her facial expression. Ishiguro insists that Eric is the most beautiful and intelligent android in the world. Because the principle of beauty is captured in the average face, he says as he paces up and down his office at ATR's robotics laboratory. That implies she should be appealing to everyone. She's a more advanced version of Geminoid F, another Ishiguro creation that appeared this year in Sayonara, director Koji Fukada's film adaptation of the same name stage production. The film, set in rural Japan after a nuclear disaster, made Geminoid F the world's first humanoid film actor alongside Bierly Law. While robots in films are nearly as old as the medium itself, Erika did not rely on human actors. Think C-3PO or the motion capture technology used in films. Robots are a mirror in which we can better understand ourselves, he says. When we see human-like qualities in robots, we begin to consider the true nature of the human heart, about desire, consciousness, and intention. It can be unsettling to come face-to-face -face with Erica. Her ability to express a wide range of emotions via dozens of pneumatic actuators embedded beneath her silicone skin left us human speechless when Ishiguro invited her to speak in Japanese. For the time being, a perfect conversation with Erica must revolve around a limited number of topics. Still, experts believe that free-flowing verbal exchanges are only a few years away. According to Ishiguro, the more they resemble humans, from their physical appearance to their ability to engage in natural conversations, the easier it'll be for us to overcome our phobias, which have been exploited to dramatic effect in countless sci-fi films. What do you think of the most realistic female humanoid robots ever in the world? Comment your views about humanoid robots below and make sure to subscribe for more such videos.